we all need a little time with our friends. Give folks some time, and you may find they're ready to share more of their story. Everyone likes to be seen and heard on their own terms. You're not alone out there. We're all traveling together tonight. Sometimes all we need is for someone to share their story or offer a different point of view. This is Radio 90, and you're listening to Night Drive. Thanks for joining us tonight. Trace back through the turns and straightaways that led to a seemingly random encounter, and they begin to feel like dominoes lined up and ready for fate to fall into place. And there were millions of such stories, crucial moments on a path that led to you, here, now. You are the product of incredible survival. Look at the night sky. What do you see out there? More than seven billion people in this world. And all we have is each other. Our own little infinity. Hello, hello. Oh, goodness. My camera seems to be gone. This is not good. Um, Hi, everybody. How are you? I will fix this. I cannot see myself in stream. This is not great. Um, But Lucas, hello. Welcome. Please tell everyone who you are. I can't hear you. Yes, of course, because I was muted. Thank you so much for oh. having me on your channel, Tanya. Hi, uh, how are you? I'm doing okay. Um, uh, this is uh, this is great. I'm Lucas J. W. Johnson. I am the uh, founder and studio director of Silver String Media. Um, we are currently live in two places, or we should be, uh, both on uh, Tanya's uh, Twitch channel at Cipher of Tear and at the Mega Migs Digital Conference event. Uh, we are here presented by the Canada Media Fund. Uh, to show off the very first public gameplay demo of our upcoming game, Glitch Hikers, The Spaces Between. Uh, we're super grateful to the Canada Media Fund, not only for having us today, but for helping to fund this project. Uh, and super grateful of Tanya to uh, host us today. You're... Despite not being able to see her. Yes, I'm so sorry. I don't know where my camera went in the time before we went live. Everything worked. It was great. <laughs> Uh, so you get a little behind the scenes magic really quick while I fix my camera. And uh, and then we will go to the trailer. Because awesome. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Hi. Oh, goodness. Now it's all of me. So sorry. Hi. Well, you exist. That's good to know. I exist. That was very weird that my camera was just suddenly like, who are you? <laughs> That's okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix Look at it. This behind the scenes everyone's getting. Yeah, for some reason. Don't and like people this. Say, and people say streaming is so easy. Oh my God, I don't want that to ever be said about me again. <laughs> there we go. It's it's temporary fix, but it worked. Hi. Hello. Perfect. Hey, Tanya. <laughs> so sorry, y'all. But yes, let's watch the trailer. You heard a little bit of it while we were prepping to go live. And uh, we are going to hear some familiar voices in there. I don't know if our friend Gabe is in chat. But you are going to hear his melodious voice in a moment. Absolutely. All right. Hang out for a second and we're going to get some trailer going. We all need a little time with our thoughts. Give folks some time and you may find they're ready to share more of their story. Everyone likes to be seen and heard on their own terms. 
you're not alone out there. We're all traveling together tonight. Sometimes all we need is for someone to share their story or offer a different point of view. This is Radio 90, and you're listening to Night Drive. Thanks for joining us tonight. Trace back through the turns and straightaways that led to a seemingly random encounter, and they begin to feel like dominoes lined up and ready for fate to fall into place. And there are millions of such stories. Crucial moments on a path that led to you, here, now. You are the product of incredible survival. Look at the night sky. What do you see out there? More than seven billion people in this world. And all we have is each other. Our own little infinity. All right, we're back. Hopefully you can still hear both of us. I'm having a little weird audio issue with my headphones. So, uh, Lucas, take it away while I try to fix this. And yeah, absolutely. In the background. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so as you saw in the trailer, uh, Glitch Hikers, The Spaces Between is a game about late night journeys and liminal spaces. But mostly it's about creating a space for the player to have a, a personal introspective experience. So we thought rather than me walking folks through the gameplay, it would make more sense to have someone who didn't make the game play through one of the journeys. Uh, so I'm so glad you agreed to help us out, Tanya. Uh, this is very exciting. And uh, shout out to uh, Gabe in the chat. Uh, we were so excited to uh, have you part of this. Hi, Gabe. All right, we, got, we have audio back. The game is starting. Za. So Tanya, I'm happy for you to just sort of dive right into showing the game. Sure. Play it like uh, like you'd play anything, and then we'll see what kind of experience we have together. It's a uh, game. Where are you? Here we go. We have game. Hello, everyone. All right, um, so when I get started, there's actually a really cool uh, start screen, but I want to show off some of the options if that's okay with you. Yeah, please. Um, so obviously controls is important. You can use this with a keyboard or with a controller, which is great because not everybody is down with a controller. It is set up for Xbox, but you can use a PlayStation Switch or other controller if you so choose. Um, and then enter to accept that. Hopefully I didn't just break everything. Just hit enter. That's the, uh, that's to change what accept is. Gotcha. Uh, no, because I didn't change anything. Fine. Um, but there's full screen, so obviously full screen, fill the view, brightness, contrast. You can change your cursor size, hide the HUD if you want, hide letterboxing so you can get the nice letterbox experience, or hide the dialogue if you just want to go drive. And if visual glitching is an issue, you can actually turn that off. Um, V-Sync off on, show your FPS if you want to show off how many frames you get, you can do that. Um, audio. I love the antique engine sound, so I'm going to turn it on. Even nice. though we're not getting in the car, I still like the sound. <laughs> um, it sounds like the uh, the game audio might be a little loud compared to our voices, too, there, Tanya, if you want to just turn down those uh, three sliders a little bit. Sure. I don't want to turn on the voices too much because I want to hear Gabe. That's um, fair. So. Perfect. But this is what I really wanted to show off was the content because I want to say this is the first game I've seen that has these filters um, because everyone has various triggers or issues and th the folks that hitch a ride with you, at least in the car, they could talk about a myriad of things. And if someone that doesn't want to talk about grief, 
suicide, abuse, substance abuse, or body horror, you can turn that off and change the conversations. We spent a lot of time thinking about and talking about sort of how we wanted to handle this this kind of thing. And, and there's a message at the beginning of the game when you first open it up that also sort of introduces this idea that, that conversations in the game can delve into a myriad of topics. And, and we don't like, you know, we don't show anything. It's not like it's a, you know, gory, yeah. violent game or anything like that. Um, but, but some of the characters do talk about these like deeper kinds of things and and you know we, we didn't want to do like a big content warning or trigger warning like you know don't play this game if this is going to be an issue for you because because actually what we found is that a lot of people who um you know might struggle with you know certain things actually get a lot of value out of the game out of talking about those things mm -hmm. um, and we're trying to create that that sort of safe space where they can do that and they can work through the things that they're dealing with um, so we didn't want to sort of scare people away from that but we also wanted to make sure that you know it was customizable using these filters so that like if you just you know you just want to have a, a nice more upbeat uh, kind of con you know kind of journey when you come in and play the game on a particular day you just had a shitty day at work or whatever um, that you can come in and you can just make sure that, you know, some of these things just aren't going to happen. Uh, so we wanted to give it sort of as much flexibility as possible there. Yeah, and then once you play through the game, you can reset your path, the railway, the terminal, or just delete and start all over. So we're starting with a brand new file. I played through the car scenario, and now today we're going to go take a ride on a train. So, let's go. So here's our lovely station. And uh, as I'm talking, feel free to describe what I'm doing, if there's anything you'd like me to do in particular to show off that I haven't done before. Because I don't think we can do anything until I talk to this lovely bot. That's right. The clerk must introduce you to the space. Who are you? I love their little boutonniere. I didn't notice it last time. We have amazing character designs all throughout the game. Our, uh, our character designer, Anna Wolf, did a fantastic job, and our uh, modeler and animator, Shirley, just brought everyone to life so well. Mm -hmm. um, and for those asking in the chat, um, we did choose Glitch Hikers. There is an older game called Glitch Hikers, but exclamation Glitch Hiker should get you info about the trailer and a wish list on Steam. I am making oh, different choices. Oh, thanks, Um, and Chad, if you'd like me to read out the non-voiced parts, please let me know. I'm not a voice actor, but I'm going to do my <laughs> best. Um, uh, with an S, Panda, uh, Glitch Hikers. It's also on a timer. So chat, speak up if you want me to voice it, otherwise we can all read together. Yeah. What's interesting is like when people play kind of talky games, sometimes it's hard when the streamer does or doesn't uh, voice out things because not everyone wants to read out a whole bunch of text that are um, where there was a request in the chat for me to read it out. So uh, let's see what happens. Uh, <laughs> most people come here between journeys, whether those journeys are physical, mental, spiritual, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Tonight, you could head out on the highway if you'd like, or you could head to the nearby railway and hop aboard the commuter train. Driving the hi highway always has a chill kind of vibe to me, though your thoughts may wander to all sorts of topics as you consider the universe around you. There's nothing quite like a late night drive. Is there? So classic. Uh, question in the chat from Boyce Games, will there be a VR edition of the game? We have done VR work in the past and we do love VR. Uh, unfortunately, there's no current plans uh, for a VR version of, of Glitch Hikers, but it, it's something that we've talked about a lot because it, you know, it's all about that um, immersion in these liminal spaces in these journeys. And so it, it makes a lot of sense for VR. So it's something that we've talked about and you know, we'll see how things go uh, next year when we release it. Uh, traveling by train is a more collective journey, in my opinion. Everyone headed in the same direction. Expect a sense of community, but also the kinds of deep, personal conversations you can only have in a safe space. There's also a nearby park, but it's closed at the moment as they install some new sculptures 
and the bus to the airport is running late again. Just check back in next time you're here if you want to learn about this. Huh. What do I do? Also, my mouse is way too far away. Goal oriented, eh? You'll find very few of those here. Simply allow yourself to experience a journey. Let your mind wander. Just be for a little while. If you want goals, you'll have to set them for yourself. Maybe you know what you're looking for out there. Maybe not. That's okay, too. Sometimes it's nice just to see where the journey takes you. But no matter your travels, expect to find others on the same journey. Share your thoughts, your feelings. There's never a right or wrong answer out there. This clerk has never taken public transit, have they? <laughs> and if you find your conversations too much or you need help, you can always ask to stop. Just press the back button whenever you are given dialogue options. Otherwise, you can quit the journey or game at any time via the pause menu. I'll always be here if you need to talk to someone. Check back in between journeys. And if you need resources outside of the experience, a link is available in the pause menu as well. This was another big part of, of what we wanted to uh, allow, you know, talking about content and stuff, the ability to, you know, you might not know that you don't want to talk about a certain thing, but mm -hmm. suddenly you're having a conversation with one of the characters and you go, hold on, I, I can't do this right now. So we added this ability to just sort of end the conversation right then and there mm -hmm. in a way that's sort of still in world. The, the characters respond to that and they each have a bit of a different response, but it's a way to also sort of you know, demonstrate having healthy boundaries, right? Like if you're talking to real people, you should be able to say, hold on, I can't do this right now mm -hmm. and have them respect that and, and understand, you know? Uh, yeah. And then in, in the pause menu under the, the help option is is actually a link to uh, takethis.org, mm -hmm. um, which has a bunch of mental health resources uh, if you need them at any time. So if anything comes up in the game and, and you realize that, you know, you might need a little extra help or something, um, you know, that's right there for you to, to get. We're very grateful to take this for for working with us on that yeah um look at the night sky out there the moon is watching over you tonight we're all watching over you <laughs> the blinking threw me off at first um and also full disclosure i am on the board of take this and a take this ambassador so if you're in the chat and what resources exclamation take this will bring up a command and a link with info for you awesome uh, yes, pleasantly twisted. Uh, that's exactly exactly what we're what we're working with for sure. Uh, I also wanted to shout out to Valence in the chat, uh, who loves the cleric. Valence was one of our wonderful beta testers. Hello, hi everyone. Chat. Sorry, I'm not super um, chatty. We are kind of playing through the game. I just love that I can like go, just go chill and check things out. Hmm. What's this on the shelf? Nothing I can touch. Let's go! Okay, that's the bus. The train! So I haven't played the train yet, so we're gonna see how this goes. Oh! I'm excited. Welcome to Infinity Rail. Thanks for joining us tonight, folks. As we hurtle through space together, I ask that you be kind to your fellow passengers. These rails that stretch between all of our origins and destinations are etched into a shared landscape. No matter what your travel plans are, this is one connection we all share. Perhaps the basis for a bond or the underpinnings of understanding. We're all heading in the same direction. And I know the regulars always enjoy a friendly chat. There's plenty to see and seats are not assigned. So feel free to move about the train. Oh, I didn't read the dialogue. Sorry, y'all. I'm like, uh-huh, train ride. This is me in real life now. I don't want to talk to people on the train. So, um, <laughs> hey, Gabe. Hello, hello. Uh, nothing like a long train ride to gather your thoughts after a tiring day. A bunch of people all on the same tracks. All of us on separate journeys, but journeying together. We're all headed in the same direction. Where are you headed? I'm gonna be that person and say to find myself. I'm trying to find myself. It's truly really a journey we're all on, just looking for a little meaning, a little growth, a little future. 
like the train. You get to go somewhere, maybe even see someplace new, but you just get to sit and enjoy it. If you're not in charge, the tracks just go in one direction. It's like reading a good book, just along for the ride. I read one once about three lovers navigating the seas together. They encounter sea monsters and mysterious islands and gods of the waves. I'm gonna be nosy. What kind of lovers? They were close friends who found themselves in each other. A bond forged the crucible of the journey. They each had their own reasons for the journey, different things they were looking for. What they found predictably was each other. I found a love of story and journeys. I gotta get some more writing done. Come back in a bit. Okay. Well then. Oh, I guess I just get up. Okay. So, question for you. Like, with the car journey, the radio was kind of your, your hint of things, <laughs> of things changing. So, do you have to, like, go from car to car or just seat to seat? Yeah, so each journey we designed to be a bit different in how you would sort of travel and and uh, uh, encounter different characters. Um, so and actually, I believe there was one behind you in the car that you were in. So uh, the, the train is all about uh, a little bit more freedom. You know, you're, you're on rails, so to speak. Um, there's only so far you can go, but you're free to uh, explore a little bit as well. Okay, I remember this character from the other journey. Hey there, guess we're headed in the same direction. A line snaking through the landscape, like the sweep of paint on a wall. Where are you going? I don't know. Leaving yourself open for whatever possible paths you choose. I can appreciate that. I'm heading somewhere I've never been before myself. Nice stop. Mm. Foggy level. Okay, okay, Gabe, let me finish my conversation. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna... <laughs> no, I'm rude! <laughs> wow, Gabe, wow. What kind of art? I paint a lot of murals, broad, expansive pieces about what I experienced on my travels. Maybe you've seen one over by that convenience store. I love these opportunities. A while back, I was traveling through the Epsilon Eridani system, Earth's nearest exoplanets. There was a world there with the most diverse civilization I'd ever seen. Their beauty inspired a lot of art. They asked me to paint a mural on one of their buildings. Working alongside other artists from other systems, a cooperative endeavor to meld together all of our art styles. Sounds neat. It was a really great opportunity. It was a wonderful experience. I had no troubles participating. Everyone loved my work. Nobody treated me like I was different. We were all just artists. Not quite the same story here. It's practically a five-step process just to get onto this train and have my chair secured. I knew how to do it better than the conductor now we're did. arriving at foggy level. Oh my god, Gabe. I'm gonna give you such a hard time next time I see you in person. Uh, I hope the place I'm going to will be more accessible. Okay. I want to shout out uh, uh, several of our, our characters, you know, we talk about a lot of different topics and, you know, Tanya, we brought you in to, to look at one of the characters. Um, we brought in- Speaking uh, of which. Yes. Uh, we brought in a, a consultant named Ace Tilden Radcliffe to help us with uh, that character in the wheelchair and had a great time working with them. Now for this, is everyone just a hiker? Cause I feel like this hiker had a number. All the hikers had numbers. <laughs> Yeah, so behind the scenes, we gave every hiker a number uh, so that we could refer to them internally. Mm. Um, but we ultimately didn't want to give, you know, actual names or anything to these characters. Um, you know, the, the most we wanted to sort of canonize about them is their, their pronouns. Um, because we, you know, it, the game is all about creating that space for the player to interpret things in different ways. We have different kinds of like, symbols that appear and you know all of the characters obviously have kind of weird and interesting designs uh and so we didn't want to like impose an idea of who this person was outside of the player's actual experience of them the dialogue they have how the 
player sort of interprets that. Uh, and so it can be sort of your own experience and you know you can interpret it however you want. Uh, so we're looking forward to seeing how people refer to all of these characters. <laughs> Uh, so this is actually one of the, the hiker that I did a lot of the uh, consulting on. The universe may have had a beginning, but time itself is infinite. Things will change. This will eventually fade to nothingness. But time will keep moving on forever. Moving on. Something that can be a bit tougher for the rest of us. We linger over questions, over feelings, over regrets. Over things we'll never know. Ooh, this is tough. I'm like, ooh, this is like coming for the feels. Uh, I'm gonna go with can't change the past. We have no choice though, we can't change the past. Let's make it easier or stop you from thinking that maybe you can change something and get it all back. The longest relationship I've had so far started in high school. I've known her since before that, even part of the same little friend group for years. Yeah, the whole friends to lovers thing. Once we all figured out we were queer, it went pretty hard, pretty fast. I was by, we were in love. We spent a summer together road tripping across the solar system. We were going to go to the same school, live together, have a family even. We rented an actual U-Haul when we went to college. The love, the support we so often gave to each other, and it's such an important time in our lives. The exclusive Prospect Peak Ski Chalet. I'm having a moment home. here, Gabe. Though you might have to crane your neck to see it atop that mountain. Infinity Rail does not offer service there. Sadly, not everyone gets the same prospects in life. Wow, Gabe, coming through with the feels and the truth. At times, it was the most wonderful thing. In the second year, I knew we'd have to break up. We also fought a lot, yelled, did things to each other emotionally. I'm not going to be nosy. I'm, I'm going to say sounds difficult. Of course it was, and unhealthy, that we were so in love, and thought the fights were just proof of how invested we were in each other, instead of recognizing them as a sign something was wrong. Wow, this game just like punched a lot of us in the face. It took until third year before we finally did end it though. That's how invested we were, I guess. Totally ignore that Econ 101 advice about sunk cost. Oh, feelings, feelings. Or at least for a long time, it felt like the benefits outweighed the cost. But there's your economics, I guess. In the end, breaking up was the right choice. Just a late one. But still, in moments like this, sitting alone with my thoughts, being time stretched before us like these rails, I wonder what I could have done differently. How much of it was because of her? And how much of the pain was because of me? And she's gone. Let me. The game will not let me move. Where am I going? Uh, there's a node just up uh, above your mouse. Apprehension out. Ah. Yeah, I'm. Oh, there we see. There we go. I know. Don't get off the train. I'll accidentally end the game. It's not <laughs> what I'm trying to do. I'll wait until we pass the stop. But while I'm while we are waiting uh, for this, does anyone in the chat have questions for Lucas? Gabe, we did have you in your feelings, but you were fantastic. Uh, yes, you brought such a great, uh, such a great tone to this character. And, we, and as Tanya mentioned, we have a different uh, voice actor in each of the journeys that sort of plays a bit of a different role, but is sort of the the guide through each of the journeys. So, oh, that's the front of the train. I probably shouldn't go there. No, we don't uh, want to get the very front. Oh, what is that out there? That is the very front of the train, right? Nope, there's more train yet. Oh, because that looks like outside. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to die. It does. Oh, we're at a station, aren't we? Uh, yeah, so if you leave through that door, uh, you I... would end the journey early. But if you don't want to do that, then you can head on through to the now weird right. outside I'm car. Going All right. I'm going to I'm going to go to the outside car once we leave Apprehension Valley. Um, okay. Question in the chat of is the train infinite? It is not. Uh, I mean, 
the, the there are a limited number of train cars. Uh, if you once you once Tanya goes through this next door, uh, you know we'll see that maybe there are some aspects of it that are a little uh, spatially strange. Uh, but other than that, the the train is not infinite. There is a, an ending to it. That that was a journey. <laughs> okay, I'm. You were just outside. All, all right. Um, so does sitting give you a passenger or you just sit? You can just sit. Um, you know, one of the things that uh, you'll find more passengers as you keep going, or rather the you'll find more of the passengers you've already met. Uh, there's one to your right there. Um, underneath each of those spotlights is a, is a passenger. Um, but you can also just sit on the train uh, and, you know, enjoy the ride. You know, look out the window, see the, the areas going past. Um, that's one of the things that we wanted to, to really do was um, allow each of the journeys to to encapsulate that feeling. And that means, you know, often, uh, you know, whether it's just sitting on the train and looking out the window or sitting in the car and driving, we have an infinite drive version for the, for the drive. You know, you have a little bit of control over how you want to experience things. Interesting. She's here, but I can't sit. Oh, I can't sit with her again. Yep. I think you passed a couple others that you can go back yeah. and talk if you want to. I will go back. Any breakup is hard, especially after a relationship that's lasted so long. Especially after one that started so young, because all of our friends were the same. People we'd both known for years. And when a relationship ends, especially with so much hurt and loss, there's going to be a rift. Who do you stay friends with? Who do you believe? Some can try to stay friends with everyone, try to support both sides, but it's hard. Feelings will get hurt. And inevitably, one person leaves with more of that circle intact. And they get to define the narrative. It's unfair. It's all part of the complexity of relationships. Whether romantic or platonic, everyone has their own needs and desires and their own feelings. They don't always line up. That's the other thing. Queer communities are small, insular, especially in high school. It's where we discover and define ourselves. When you lose that, you lose a part of yourself, your only connection to identity. I lost myself for a while, maskless, faceless, without identity, wandering orbital paths, letting gravity take me where it would. I don't remember much of that year, it took me a long time to find another face. I have to go with depression as a hell of a thing. Sometimes it feels like we can't get through it. Gosh, I can't believe we actually U-hauled. How stereotypical. Well, right, so you said I missed a couple people? Yeah, I think there was at least one in the uh, previous car. You can always see where a hiker on the train is because there's a little spotlight above them. Oh, it's her again. There's something special about all of us heading you look out the left side of the train, oh you will soon catch a glimpse of the cloud continent. Residents thought they found a formula for utopia. Ever been on a train and been had and your conversation interrupted? The, <laughs> the math did not change, but the people did. Uh, while these uh, descriptions of, of what you're passing by are up, we have these sort of special locations. If you press the space bar, you actually get a view of, of those things. Oh, if you cool! Can't see them the window. Okay, I had to get a screenshot of that. There's something special about all of us heading in the same direction. A community, a collective journey. Lots of people have tried to show that we tell the same stories. It's, uh, Resilience Peak. All of us around all all around the world. Archetypes, common patterns to journeys, and heroes of seven common structures. If they say the hero's journey, I quit. Of course, it's not really true. Examples are cherry-picked full of Western bias. Imposing archetypes on other cultures can be a pretty big stretch. Not every civilization truly uses the same patterns. I need everyone to screenshot that and just keep it <laughs> forever. <laughs> I took so many screenshots of that one conversation about social media when I did the car path. <laughs> oh, I was like, wow, that sounds just like my life on social media. Uh-huh. Um, ooh, and I'm going with an act of colonization. I choose digital violence today. Imposing those structures is an act of colonization. 
Watching other cultures into your mold, yeah. Takes away from our ability to see the beauty and difference. Mysteries are made by solitary people on mythic journeys, performing great acts. It's made by the multitudes. The people who stand up or help each other. Communities and cascading decisions and culture. That model permeates all media, including history. History, indeed. It's everywhere in the news and in schools and how we understand the world, but the complexity of the truth is vital. At Resilience Peak. This reminds me of metro stations here. <laughs> the complexity of the truth is vital. Nothing can be boiled down to simple cause and effect. There are common human stories, survival, love, attempts to explain the cosmos. I'm writing a new story, a story about friendship, of being oh on a journey together. A little on the nose, I know. Come back later, maybe I'll tell you about it. Okay. There's no spotlight, but I could just look up the... It's like so chill and serene. The northern lights are over there. So how is how is this different from other games that Silver String has made? I mean, a lot of our projects are uh, you know a little weird and experimental in some ways, and I mean you know this one is is an expansion or, or based on. Um, a game that we made back in 2014 called Glitch Hikers, which we sort of now renamed to Glitch Hikers First Drive, mm. uh, which was just sort of a, a short version of, of the drive journey that's in, in this game. Um, but, you know, and we've also worked on on projects with other other companies, very, you know, narratively heavy things. But this was something that we wanted to revisit, um, you know, really explore more of what we could do with this kind of space, uh, with these kinds of, um, you know, conversations and stuff. It's, it's like a narrative game but with no, you know, overarching narrative, uh, which mm -hmm. has been really interesting to play with. I hate having to start my journey being frustrated. Accessibility is just the kind of thing I have to think about all the time, especially on this world. The Slan Eridani world was so nice, I could almost forget I might ever have to struggle with inaccessibility. I recognize that I had different needs than some of them, don't we all? They didn't just meet my needs, they pre they preempted them for me. They treated me like I was valuable and worth the effort. See, a lot of humans look at disability like mine and see something that should be fixed. Someone who should be cured. I don't need saving. I see the powers that be not to put stairs everywhere. You know? On Earth, they call it the social model of disability. The problem is not Next me. Stop. Sublime. The problem is not me being disabled. The problem is an inaccessible world. That's what causes the friction. Stairs instead of ramps. Trying to fix me. Instead of accepting me as I am. Ooh, this is tough because I'm thinking of conversations I've had with friends. And saying I'm sorry you have to deal with it doesn't actually do anything. And thing wants to not need it falls into the do you want to be fixed we wanted to give people an opportunity to uh maybe mess up a little and <laughs> be, yeah but my be, brain be went corrected no. <laughs> yeah yeah see what laws in place of mandate accessibility is still so often ignored or handled in handled in slap or even degrading ways the most important first step is just listen to the folks. Your structures are failing, but that is just the beginning. And you've got to truly act on what those people ask for. See, the world I was visiting was accessible to everyone. They didn't think there was anything about me or anybody else that needed to fix it. It made for a better world. arriving at Sublime. I like that we're arriving at Sublime as we're having this conversation. A more interesting world. There was such a variety of life and experiences. All coming together like a beautiful patchwork quilt. Wait until we're leaving. I know the Gabe will interrupt me. I love hearing your voice, Gabe, but I'm just laughing. No one wanted to change me. No one talked about giving me new robot legs or improving my chair. I'm making capable of climbing stairs. My chair is perfect. Thank you. Accepted me for who I am. I made sure nothing got in my way. I wish that were true here. 
A lot of people are fine to make it true here. Change takes time, but society can change. Well, if that ain't the truth. I didn't have to think about any of this stuff. I just got to make art. That's really cool. Uh, da, 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 da. I feel like I've... Is that the weird go outside door again? Uh, it's a new one, yes, if you go, yeah, if you go back oh. towards the front of the train. It's so funny. The, the, mm -hmm. the further you go towards the front of the train, the more you'll you'll see the, the hikers you think you've met before. You're ah, going backwards it. currently. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm going backwards? Yeah. <laughs> oh, never mind. Let's go this way. See, this is why you can't take me on an Amtrak. I get lost even on a train. <laughs> no lie. Every time I All take Amtrak, real. I get lost. And I'm like, it's a train. How can I get lost on a train? But I do. <laughs> I just saw sand and I was like, okay, I guess that's where I'm going. Oh, this this is new. Oh, no. Oh, okay. All right, I guess that's, that's where we're going. <laughs> okay, look, Everything I Everything mean, at Glitch Hikers is a little weird. <laughs> I know, but I'm like, this goat? First, they're playing the drums. Just wanted to point out a special so That's our, our up busker. Up. And, uh... Falls, all frozen okay. solid. A still snapshot of tumultuous motion. A picture of respite in a busy world. Or the image of flow interrupted. As you go through the, uh, as you go through the train and encounter the the busker in each car, um, mm -hmm. playing different instruments, the the audio is also sort of following the the instruments or something similar to the instruments that they're playing, um, and the music sort of changes. And as you go throughout, you can kind of hear a little bit of each car on either side of you. Oh, fun! You know, I'd forgotten this, but it was her who broke up with me. Even though I knew it was inevitable, necessary even, she broke up with me and it hurt a lot. It felt like my whole life had been taken from me. Not just the friend group, the community. We were at college by then, there were ultimately new communities to find, larger circles to be part of. But she and I, we'd grown up together, discovered who we were together. We, jo we had joined those communities together. We had this whole shared history, and also this whole show, shared future. Plans, assumptions about what my life would be like. I'm stretching forward, snatched away. Gone. The life lost in a lot of ways. This is an emptiness, an uncaring void left behind. An unknown. We get so attached to the idea of a thing, a person, a relationship. And this whole shared life. But it wasn't a good one, it wasn't a healthy one. I wonder for a long time why it ended, what I could have done differently. But I always knew, I just couldn't face Stop. it. Stop. Weeping Falls. Wow, talking about a breakup as we are, as we arrive in Weeping Falls. I thought of myself as a smart person, you know? Why would a smart person let herself get into a situation like this? And I thought of myself as a good person. And how could a good person do something bad to someone they love? But I know I did. It wasn't a healthy relationship. We were bad to each other. Abusive. Hurt people hurt people. There are a lot of hurt people in the queer community. That's what the world does to us, what we do to each other. Break the cycle. It's hard to see when you're in so deep. Finding community, finding each other, it can be like finding a life preserver, but yes, we must be better to each other. I've learned so much about myself since then. Grown and changed. I couldn't even talk about it for a long time. I could barely think about it without crying. I cried a lot, but now distance helps. Wait for Gabe to interrupt me. Now arriving at Weeping Falls. There's a lot of feels happening in the chat right now. I see. Y'all y'all okay there? Just checking in on the chat. <laughs> time is infinite. A friend told me, you know, time is infinite. And all our problems are finite. 
And by definition, time will eventually make them zero, equivalent to nothing. It seemed like cold comfort at the time, but I'm a physics student, and the math worked out, so I had faith. Now I see it. Now it's hard to imagine how insurmountable it was. It all was back then. Time keeps moving on, and we do too. Oh, she's back. Take a sip of drink, because this is a lot of talking for me. <laughs> I appreciate it, though, Tanya. It's always it's always interesting to hear other people read the words that you've written. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please hydrate. Please do other stuff. I met them one day when I was getting away from my parents. Down at the water, we became fast friends. Playing games of make-believe, telling each other stories of sea monsters and gods. Wait a minute. Are these two the exes of each other and they don't know it? I'll never tell. Because this is a little too, like, telling the story. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> One day we found a secret island out in the water. When we were there, it seemed like time stood still. We played for hours and hours, or sit quietly in dreams, the stars rose and fell. When we came home, no one had missed us. Next stop, Apollonian Avis. Does writing it make it real? Or was it real already? I'm not sure. Some folks you like, you enjoy their company. You're good friends, but they still take energy to be with. You get tired eventually. You need a break. Why is this me at a convention, though? Wow, did you, like, spy on me, Lucas? Goodness. It's a bit of a universal <laughs> experience, I think, Tanya. I know, but I was like, wow. <laughs> it's funny because we were talking about this in prepping for PAX Unplugged earlier. I'm like, wow, <laughs> you, this is almost the words out of my mouth. They're so easy to hang out with. We talk for hours or sit in silence. There were no expectations, no demands, no hurt feelings or drama. Just existing together. You ever have one of those friends who takes no energy at all to be with? You can enjoy just being around, even if you're not doing something together. Actually, yes. Hold on to those friendships if you can. They are ones that can last forever, bonds that hold the universe together. One of the reasons I'm writing this, we all need a connection of some kind. And those connections are out there. Now Stories we're are out there. Acres. Waiting to be heard. We're not solitary creatures. We're on this journey of life together. We're all headed in the same direction. Where are you headed? I see going home this time. I hope you find some rest at the end of your journey. It's been nice getting to know you a bit more. Maybe I'll see you up in the meal car. Enjoy your journey. Hello everyone who's joining us. We're having a bit of feels. Okay, so that's where I came in because there's the busker. I'm not going to get lost this time, hopefully. Yeah, you want to go that way. <laughs> Our moon friend is back. There's a beauty in weirdness, indifference, and variation. You can't make good art if it's if it's all exactly the same. You can't make great art if all you know of the world is from one very small perspective. Humans sometimes have a distrust of anything different from themselves, or fear that they will be outnumbered by those that are different. It's sad, honestly. It's sad when people can't accept people who are different from themselves. It's definitely sad. It can be dangerous, too. For those of us who are different, fear breeds hatred. Hatred often leads to violence. I'm looking at you, 2020. Even the idea of wanting to cure people like me. It's all about making everyone the same. There's a lot of danger hidden there. What if we could fix you before you were born? Make it so you're someone's version of perfect. We call that pseudoscience eugenics. Pretty quickly gets used to make everyone 
keep vigil at the window to our left to catch a glimpse of the old decommissioned Cosmic Memorial Bridge. For decades, workers toiled to span the valley, believing the serious that once moment. their work was complete, the future would come. The future did come, but all too soon it left the bridge behind. And now all that remains are memories. We call that pseudoscience eugenics. And pretty quickly it gets used to make everyone identical and remove anyone who's not. You lose when you try to do that, even if you think your intentions are good. You lose diversity. You lose variation, which is strength. You're playing against evolution, which are also playing against beauty. Ah, oh, you just like came for everyone's feelings, good lord. Against art. Would life have been easier if I didn't need my cheer? Maybe. Through no fault of mine. It'd be a heck of a lot Next less stop. colorful. Infinity's Edge. Such eugenics indeed, Miss Lee. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your story, Moon Friend. But everyone has the emotional labor to spare. Maybe I can change some minds. Maybe we all can. We should be celebrating differences. We should be making the world a place where anyone can live and thrive and be what they want to be. Change the world, don't change me. I have so many screenshots by the time this is done. <laughs> That's what we end up making the mural about, a celebration of diversity, illustrating people from all over the galaxy living their lives freely, artists from all over the galaxy making one work together. Complex, varied styles merging into something new, something beautiful. I hope I get to do something similar where I'm going now. Meet new people. Maybe change some minds. Gonna start that five-step process to make my way to the meal car. It was nice talking to you. Stay weird. Aww. Also, how are we uh, on time for you, Lucas? I'm gonna be... So yeah, we have time. about 10 minutes left, which I think is just enough time for you to complete your journey. All right, so... Yeah, towards the front of the train. The way I was going, or should now I turn? Now arriving at Infinity's uh, Edge. You want to go the other way. Okay, so the way I was going before I stopped to talk to Moon Friend. Yes. <laughs> they're, they're just Moon Friend Maybe now. Maybe nearing the end of your trip with us. That's fine with me. There's still time to take in the sights from our observation lounge. When you're ready, just take a seat. Join in a conversation and see this journey through together. So there's a uh, chair that you can sit down, I think just behind uh, her. Go back a little further. Yeah. Oh, and you just end journey. Cool. Oh, wait, how do I actually end journey? Just hit. Oh, uh, look forward again where the uh, that circle was when you were. Gotcha. Yeah. I tried to like tab down and I'm like, wait, that's <laughs> not it. This will make for a good story someday. Time changes all struggles into stories. Everyone has a story worth sharing, art worth making. There's so much to learn from each other. Thanks for joining us tonight. That's the end of the train journey. Uh, each of the journeys in the game is is about that length, approximately half hour to forty five minutes. We usually say, um, but you can replay them many times, and there's lots of different hikers that will show up, so it's always a little bit different. Um, and you can always have a, a little bit of a, a different a different experience. So thank you for playing through, Tanya. You're welcome. Now I've done two paths. Well, there. So it's train and and car. Will the yes. park eventually open up? Yes, yeah, so the the build you're playing is our, our press build, which only has the two. Um, but after you have completed, in the full game, after you have completed one journey, either the, the train or the car, uh, you can also access uh, the park, the path we call it. Um, and uh, there is a fourth journey as well that is uh, hinted at in a few places, which is the airport. Uh, the airport. Yeah, I recognize those names. <laughs> Elsa! I adore Elsa Shinison. Yeah, we've had, uh, like I said, we had amazing, amazing consultants, uh, including you. So thank you very much for your help. 
Um, are there any questions? I'd love to do a, a quick Q and A with the time we have left. We have about five minutes. Um, I see a lot of comments about loving our moon friend. Uh, again, her, uh, his last line, "Stay weird," is a is a reference to uh, Arkansas Tendace, uh, who has a site called Stay Weird, Be Kind. So definitely go check that out if you have a sec. All right, uh, we're you back. saw there at the and you saw there at the end of the credits too. The thanks to the Canada Media Fund. Um, um, who helped fund this game and and you know are are hosting us today at this panel? So so wanted to give them another uh, big shout out uh, for for having us. They also did a panel as part of Mega Migs on Tuesday about demystifying the funding application progress uh, process. So if you are a Canadian dev, uh, that should be that uh, video should be still available for you to check out. So um, anyone in the chat, bro, questions in. Um got about five minutes left yeah i see one are there different hikers each time yes so um there's about 16 hikers total in the game um different ones show up in different journeys but most of them show up in in two or three different journeys some, some show up in all four um and every time you play a given journey you'll encounter you might encounter some of the same ones but uh, you'll probably encounter new ones as well um once you have the for the full game At an, uh the story of the breakup was very similar to the breakup I went through. How did you put that in the video game? <laughs> uh, I I'm sorry to hear that. I think um, you know a lot of the a lot of the stuff that we put into the game. You know, we wanted to create something of a universal experience, right? Like not everyone has gone through that exact experience. Um, but a lot of people, you know, most people have gone through some kind of breakup or know people who have gone through some kind of breakup um, and wanted to, you know, create these spaces where we could tell, you know, sometimes very specific stories or very weird stories like the, you know, the gods and monsters on the islands and the sea and stuff that evoke a, a universal feeling, something that you can react to or, or have an experience around. Um, and Awkward Panda asks, do the hiker stories change as they go based on who else is on the train with them? Um, typically not. Um, it's each one has their own sort of conversation or set of conversations. Uh, it's different conversations if you encounter them in different journeys, though. Um, and there's a few places where, um, you know, depending on if you have met them before or not, they'll say if slightly different things. Um, some you have to encounter in a specific order and then, you know, first in the drive then in the train something like that um so that you get a bit more of a uh an arc to their to their characterization as well cool your camera's a has gone a little fuzzy oh no fix you itself moved. you moved no nope. yes that's what i get like i'm gonna fix you for fidgeting uh, <laughs> we got a couple that's minutes left any any other questions for Lucas before we find someone to pass um, the raid off the stream off to and go uh, go enjoy the rest of Mega Mix. Are we the last thing today? I think we're the last sort of big thing. There's a uh, there's an awards ceremony coming up next, I believe, at, at right. Mega Mix. So if you're if you're part of that uh, conference, enjoy. Uh, good luck to everyone. Uh, thank you so much to Mega Migs for having us. Thank you, Tanya, for for hosting us on your channel. This has been wonderful. Uh, always lovely to hang out with you. Um, and if you haven't seen it in chat, uh, the Steam page for Glitch Hikers: The Spaces Between is live. Uh, you can go to Wishlist now. Uh, you can check out all the details, uh, the trailer, all that kind of stuff at glitchhikers.com as well. So thank you so much, everyone. Yes, come come join us. Enjoy the game. Hang out with this VOD. We're gonna. I'm gonna pass the VOD off also over to Lucas and Silverstream so they can have it up on their page. And it should stay on the Steam page for a while, correct? Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, we're gonna go find someone to to raid as we normally do, even though this was a special stream. Uh, thanks for <laughs> inviting me, Lucas, to share the game, to be the first person to stream it. This is a lot of fun. And uh, I can't wait to play more as more pathways open up. So yeah. Hang absolutely. out. Um, we're going to go find someone to raid. So in the meantime, y'all <laughs> hang out and, uh, hopefully OBS does not get weird on me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tanya. Thanks everyone for coming. You're welcome. I will see you all later. Um, I think we're just going to go raid our friend, Jeff Brutlag, who's playing some Animal Crossing.
And it's going to be a Glitch Hiker raid. <laughs> All right. Hit right now and then end the stream. Bye, y'all. Say hi to Jeff. Be nice. Pronouns are he, they. And um, see what Jeff is up to in some Animal Crossing. See you later. Thanks, all.